Family History Weekend is this very weekend at the Imperial War Museum North. And Camilla Southall, the Visitor Programmes Manager, joins us now to chat about how we can trace our family history, which is fascinating. Welcome. Thank you very much. What exactly is Family History Weekend? Well, the Family History Weekend, which indeed is this weekend, is part of a package of events that we've got around Remembrance, which is obviously quite a key date in our calendar. Um, this year's Remembrance is quite a poignant one with the passing of the last surviving British First World War veterans, so I think we're expecting quite a lot of visits. And are you thinking of people tracing their family history back to veterans? It's, it's, it's not just a genealogy thing. Is it specifically related to those who've served? I think for people who, um, who have people in their family who have served, they, they may have records that they want to bring. Um, we'll be able to give them advice on finding out about the, the past of, of the people from their family. So it is people, yes, who, who have served, who will be able to give good advice and signposting for resources. We'll be using some of our own resources and also um, some other resources like the Commonwealth, uh, Commonwealth War Graves Commission websites and these sorts of things. So. Now, you say bring any sort of paperwork and records. Is there anything else people need to bring? Well, that's right. They should bring any paperwork, any um, service records. Last year, in fact, somebody brought a medal which they knew nothing about when they arrived, but um, our on-site experts were able to tell them about that medal, identify it for them, and give them some sound advice on where to start researching more about, about that particular particular family members so anything that you've got that's um, surviving that you can bring with you we can help um, interpret for you often these documents and service records contain a lot of military language yeah. and abbreviations that are confusing so that's one of the things that's really great about this session we can really help you interpret those and give you um, a good direction and where to find out more you might unearth one or two bits and pieces that people didn't know I mean you might find out that a relative was a hero or something you never know do you um, it's always a possibility. Um, I think that there's, a, there's been a big surge in interest in family history and genealogy with the success of um, recent television programmes like yeah. Who Do You Think You Are? Um, the, the sessions that are on offer this weekend are no way, uh, no way a sort of uh, a restaging of that. You're not going to have that kind of uh, revelation no. uh, or prolonged experience. But it could be the start of a journey that could you know, take you anywhere, really. Um, but that aside, there are other things people can do as well. What else is going on? Yeah, as part of the uh, larger remembrance um, package of events, there's all sorts going on. We've got um, performances of specially commissioned monologues. Um, we have um, artefact handling sessions. For instance, in our time stack handling sessions, you can get hands-on with artefacts from the trenches. So, Ooh, wow. um, so that's an excellent opportunity. Um, we also have, uh, obviously we'll be observing the two-minute silence and we have a piper playing the Piper's Lament, which is very moving. Cost-wise, what are we looking at? Yes, is it going yes. to cost any money? Absolutely it nothing. all free? Wow, no, it's not free. At all. Yeah, it's free admission anyway, um, always to the yeah. museum. And um, most of the visitor programme elements and events are always free of charge. None of the things that I've mentioned um, here today uh, have a charge attached to them. So um, not only is it an excellent day out, but it's a free day out as well. Dare I say this? I've never been. So what else is in the museum? Sorry. It's all right. You're allowed well, to not yeah, go everywhere in the whole know, of Greater like Manchester. You, we do meet a lot of people on this programme. We have to have been everywhere they work out. What else is there in the museum? Well, there's our dramatic main exhibition space, which is yeah. our permanent display. But we do also have a changing um, programme of displays and exhibitions in our waterway display area, where at the moment we have a, a Berlin Wall-related um, display. And also in our special exhibitions gallery, uh, there's a changing exhibition programme at the moment. There's um, captured the extraordinary life of prisoners of war, yeah. uh, focusing mostly on uh, Second World War experiences. So all that. And also um, one of the big parts of our offer is um, on the hour every hour we have a big picture show, which is a 360 degree uh, immersive yeah, The whole place goes dark, experience. doesn't it? And if you yeah, haven't been there absolutely. before, you kind of wonder what happens. And yeah. these pictures are projected all over the walls. It's wow. And the sound gets, you know, it's really deep mm. and throbbing and vibrates. It's a wonderful experience. Wonderful. For that alone, you should go. I will go. go. I you, promise you I will go. go. Thank Enjoy you the very much for all the information. Thank you for coming okay. in. Thank, Thank you. you.